Hi guys, it's Sophie and I'm back for another video. Um, today's video is just going to be a quick one. Um, it's just a quick review of these individual lashes by Ardell. Um, these are the Flare Medium Black Jewel Lash by Ardell. They look like this. Um, you get 56 eyelashes in here. Um, but uh, as you can see I've used some at the top. These ones um, were ones that I managed to salvage. I put on a few on each eye, uh, had them on for two weeks. Um, I removed them because I'm using a 30, um, 30 day, 30 night um, extension mascara um, from Kiko and it's supposed to make your lashes longer and fuller and anyway. So to avoid a big massive mess I removed these. Um, I used Duo Lash Glue which is here. I used this to apply them. Um, this is the clear, uh, well it's white but it dries clear um, and I used this. I believe you are probably supposed to use the individual lash glue. Um, there is one by Ardell but I had that glue so I just used that and they stuck on fine. Um, they were a bit uncomfortable and, well not uncomfortable, <laughs> if you've worn them before then they wouldn't be uncomfortable. It's the first time that I've ever had individual eyelashes. Um, so they were a bit uncomfortable once they were um, first put on because that, you know, the glue was drying. Um, but once the glue was dry they were very comfortable, they looked quite natural, I just put a few on each eye. I have quite long eyelashes anyway um, and these I think were probably just as long as my lashes. Um, I wasn't sure whether the mediums would be long enough but I think these were just fine. Um, they just made my eyelashes look a bit fuller, um, which I like, a bit thicker, you know, um, so that was great. Um, and when, obviously when I put them on I didn't have mascara on, they blended in quite well and then I did put makeup on, I had mascara and it, they blended in lovely, it was great, I had, you know, full, like, mascara, eyeliner and, you know, they stuck on fine. The only thing I'll say is obviously when taking off your makeup when you have these you do have to be really careful because um, eye makeup remover can make them um, come off quite easily so I was just very very careful whilst um, whilst cleaning eye makeup off and obviously you don't want to rub your eyes because these will come off. Um, they lasted for two weeks and then I pulled them off, well I, I say pulled them, I, re I removed them um, and I think they probably would have lasted longer if I hadn't removed them. Um, and I, as I say, I managed to salvage these ones. Um, some other ones I had on were a bit caked in mascara and glue and they just weren't, you know, it wasn't salvageable. So these ones were salvageable, but I've got all of these ones that I haven't used. Um, so you do get quite a lot. Um, these were... Sorry guys, camera cut out. Um, so these were £1.58 and then £1 postage and packaging and I got these on Amazon. Um, just because I wanted to give them a try. Um, I'm sure you can get them from other places, um, but yes, as I say, £1.58, £1 postage and packaging from Amazon, and I will leave that link in the description below. Um, but I really, really like these. They work good with and without mascara. The only thing, obviously, if you do wear lots of eye makeup, um, you have to be careful when you remove that, that you don't pull these lashes out. Um, because I do know, and they do say on the back, that if you just pull them out you can actually pull out your natural eyelashes as well which obviously nobody really wants and you can get a more dramatic look if you want by adding more of these and gluing them on you can have a nice natural look by just gluing a few sorry the camera keeps cutting out I'm not sure why um, so that's what they look like out of the packaging and I don't know whether you can see but there's like a little knot at the top um, that's what you glue to your eyelash to your eyelash line um, there are directions on the back of the, oh, it's all falling apart. There are directions on the back on here that, that tell you how to apply them. Let's just pop that down so I can show you. So there are um, some images and some directions and things on how to apply them. But you just, um, the best bet is to just dip a bit of glue onto like um, foil. Um, and then just use tweezers to remove these lashes from this tray and then dip them in the glue, just dip this little tiny bit here um, into the glue and then place on your eye. I found it helpful to sort of hold my eye like this when doing it so you can kind of see but um, you have to be careful because if you do do it like that you can glue them too far down or too far up so you do kind of 
want to have a look with your eye open so you can see where they're actually going to sit when your eye is open because obviously you don't walk around with your eyes closed so that's that. Um, as I say I haven't got them on now um, but I did have them on in the previous video so you you probably won't be able to notice much difference. The camera has decided to stop focusing. Hello, my face is here. No. <sighs> Sorry guys, I just um, switched that off and switched it back on again because for some reason the camera didn't want to focus on my face. Um, but as I was saying, in the last video I had them on, you probably won't be able to notice much difference because I have quite uh, long eyelashes naturally anyway and I normally have mascara on when I film so you probably wouldn't have noticed any difference at all um, but in person they did look fuller um, and I like that um, so I'm going to keep these and probably use them again I can do another video um, sort of applying them or with them on if you want to see that so if you do leave that in the comments below um, I hope you've enjoyed this little re review video of these um, individual lashes by Ardell um, if you're interested in looking at them or buying them um, I'll leave the Amazon link down below in the description um, please thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to and I will see you all very very soon Bye guys!